Hello all. Well, we've our we've lost our heat wave. We're now down to a freezing 72 degrees. We may even have to get out some Arctic clothing. But what I wanted to talk to you about today was the problem with wastewater injection. That means putting wastewater, there's several classifications, we'll go over those in a minute, and pumping it down into the ground. There's so many reasons that this is a very bad practice. Uh, first of all is your drinking water pollution, your just your biomass pollution, meaning that the earth has life from the top of its atmosphere all the way several miles down into the planet. And if you're injecting wastewater, acids, chemicals, radi radioactive materials, uh, severe s s the types of salt are injected into these waste wells. And of course, fracking waste is also injected into these wells. Uh, the well people like to say that they have three or four casings protecting the well where it goes through the aquifer. Um, that's not really in particularly the part I'm worried about. But let's go over to the board and let me just show you what I mean and an example of why I don't like this, this wastewater injection and feel as if it's a complete uh, assault on, onto the planet. That there are living, there is life down there. It's been proven, we found it. It's not life like we look like life, but it is life. And how do you know that that life doesn't somehow give us oxygen to breathe or take up CO2, excess CO2, or other functions such as cleaning the water that we do drink. We need to go and look at the board and find out what I'm talking about. Okay, there's many types of wastewater wells. Some are old fracking wells that come down and do this and they pump waste down in here and they'll sometimes pump it in sections so that each section as they bring in another batch of waste come in they shut off the old when they finish pumping this one full then they shut it off here and then they pump and put high pressure in this one and so on and then there's also wells that just go straight down and uh, sort of like this kind of thing you know the well head okay anyway um so waste is pumped down these things and the waste fracks itself into the nearby rock in all directions and especially where the rock is the weakest so you may get a big bulge of waste here and after the pressure reaches so much they can't pump any more waste in there they go to the next section and it does the same thing and they fill up this whole section of planet Earth full of waste. Now, they claim that they double or triple or even have four walls of protective casing where it goes through aquifers and then it quits to the single casing until it gets to the ground and then is fracked out or pumped out at high pressure. And the problem here is that the ground isn't always the same. It's not always the aquifers this way. Sometimes the aquifers are this way and are in little strange little cracks and crevices in the rock. And if you frack, you may protect this part of the, of the, of the well, you know, keep that from leaking. But once you're in here, this stuff can eventually force its way through the rocks and the cracks, just like a volcano does. It relieves pressure the same way and will go to the weakest spot and make it up into this uh, aquifer or aquifers. Some are down here and will get polluted with this pollutants. So a lot of these companies don't understand that underground doesn't mean a dead, empty place just full of rock. It actually has quite a biodiversity down there. Many, many different types of, uh, of extremophiles live down there. Uh, you can't just go polluting such a huge area full of toxic waste and not expect something to happen. And of course, there's examples of things of these wells going wrong. First of all, I saw a video of somebody telling me that these wells are safe because of the extra casing when it goes through the aquifer. You don't know where all the aquifers are. All you know is where the big ones are. The small ones could uh, get leaked into and then somebody drills down in that to drink it and they've got toxic waste instead of fresh water. Um, okay, 
So you're not only killing the bi biodiversity of underground life, but you're polluting it with extreme high pollution, air pollution, radiation, high acids, uh, caustic salts, uh, fracking uh, waste materials, waste liquids. Uh, you also put down things like blood and, and guts from animals that can't be used are also put down in injection wells because the, uh, the meat, the animal killing industry had to have some place to throw all this dead animal that they couldn't pump into the uh, hot dogs so they chose injection wells. These wells are worldwide. In fact the EPA actually licenses these wells here in the US with different classifications depending on what kind of waste is going into it and what the surrounding rock that they know about is like. Um, let's go look at an example of why I dislike I think this is an absolute crazy practice to be doing to our planet. Okay so there were nine billion gallons of fracking wastewater dumped into California aquifers this year alone from just nine injection wells throughout California. So that's three billion gallons of fracking wastewater. And all the talk about the injection wells being so safe because of their triple and quadruple lining through the aquifers. But as we see, the ground isn't homogeneously the same throughout. It changes from place to place. Uh, as you're driving along, if you're in a hilly area, look at the road cut and look at how different the planet looks from one section to another. It's the same way as you go down through the earth, at least as far as injection wells go. It's quite a conglomerate of different types of materials. And hardly anything on the planet is pressure proof. In other words, you can put billions of pounds of pressure and it will just stay like that forever. It will find its way. It will find a way to leak out the pressure just like the earth does with volcano or steam or water, anything. Nothing stays on the planet. It all recirculates. Recir it goes up to the surface, then it goes back down into the planet until it rotates around and comes back up to the surface, which takes billions of years, but it, it is not a dead planet it is ever moving and it is a very stupid place to put toxic chemicals of any kind or of any any waste whatsoever on in or above the planet we should there should be a rule that says there is no such thing as waste all right guys till next time and thanks for all your comments and your ups and your downs and your new subscribe new subscriptions and uh until next time